Welcome to this video tutorial on how to quickly edit solid objects in Rhino 7. In this video I'm going to be using this simple cube here and we're going to be using the solid edit tools to extend, extrude, twist and distort this shape into our desired form. Now the solid edit tools can be found either in your standard toolbar menu under the solid tools here or they can be found under the solid tools tab at the top here of your Rhino file. I'm going to be using these ones so we can have them open for the duration of this tutorial. We're going to begin with the simple task of extruding certain faces from our cube. This can be done using the extrude face tool found here. If we select this tool it will ask us for the surface we want to extrude. We can select the face, hit enter and then we can extrude it out to any desired length. As you can see here, I'm sort of selecting different faces and extruding them up. And if we want to be precise, we can also type in the length we require in order to sort of extrude that to a desired length or dimension there as well. So a very simple tool, but a quick way of extruding the faces of your object to change their form. Now, similar to this tool, we also have the move face tool, and this can be found to the left here. The move face tool, if we select that, works in very much the same way, but once we select our face and hit enter, you'll then see as we start to move it, we can actually stretch or change its position as well as extruding it. If you have the smart track on, you'll see that it will lock on that perpendicular motion for us, or we could kind of twist it out and we can move the face into different directions. So it's slightly different to the extrude tool where you can only move perpendicular to your face this time we can move it anywhere in the object and stretch that face out like so. Now it's worth mentioning a lot of these tools can be accessed via a shortcut and this is by holding the control and shift key on your keyboard and then selecting either the face you want or you can select an edge as well and once done that you can then extend or move that face outwards as well. So a quick way to shortcut is using that control and shift key and you can pick your face as well to use this tool. Now if we want to go slightly more in depth and not just move a single face around we can also turn on this option here which is the solid point controls. If we turn those on, select the object we want and hit enter, it allows us to turn on these points on the edges of that object. Here we can select a single point and we can actually stretch this upwards or down to distort our solid or we could select multiple points at a time in order to kind of distort certain elements of that shape like so. Or we could select these three points for example and stretch these out in relation to that as well. So this allows us to distort our solid object via its key vertices as well here. Now linked to this tool we also have the edge tool where we can actually select an edge and move this. This works in very much the same way. We select our edge, we hit enter and then we can move that edge around and distort our shape like so. This is another one of these tools that can be accessed via the control shift shortcut on your keyboard. Hold down control and shift, select your edge you want and then you can move it and distort it as you require as well. Now those tools each look at how we can move or distort the objects based upon its vertice, its edge or its face. Now what we can also do is we can also start to split these faces up if we require. This can be done via the split planar face tool here. If we select this tool, we select a face that we want to split, so I'm going to select the top one here, hit enter. And then it asks us for the split axis and this is essentially the line or the curve that we're going to be using to cut this face down into size. So I'm just going to draw a line from corner to corner here, hit enter when I'm done and you'll see there it's split that face up into two triangular faces. Now our object will still be solid but if we then go to the extrude face command again and select one of these triangles and hit enter we can now select this in isolation from the other one. So this is quite useful if we want to split our faces up, make them into smaller sub faces there and then start to extrude those independently from one another to make a more complex shape like so. The last tool we're going to be looking at here is the round hole tool and this allows us to create a circular hole in any surface of our 3D object. The way this works is if we select our round hole tool, we select a target surface that we want to apply this hole to, 
And here you can see we have a little preview of the hole that's going to be made. Now this is based upon these options up here, which describe how large the hole is and where it is. By default, your hole might look a little bit like this, where it might not be actually on the same plane as the face. If you do it, see it here, it's kind of sticking to this surface, but it's kind of doing the hole in the wrong direction. It's not doing into the surface, but it's doing it in relation to the C plane or the ground plane in this case. In order to rotate that, we just need to change this direction panel. And if we always do it for the surface normal, this will essentially orientate it to the particular surface we're working on. From here, we can change the radius of this. I'm going to up mine to a seven and we can change the depth if we want it to be a bit deeper like so. And then once we've got the desired location, we just left click on our mouse and hit enter and that will create our hole for us there. And obviously from there as well, we can then start to kind of extrude that particular hole if we wanted to bring it outwards or we could start to shift it from that point as well. So that was just a quick run through of some of the solid edit tools you can use to change or distort your geometry in Rhino 7. This is particularly useful for quick edits to geometry where you just want to sort of quickly change, edit, extrude or subtract some faces from your solid objects. I hope you found this video tutorial useful and if you want to watch any other videos on tools in Rhino or V-Ray, please check out the video on the channel.